Why do you put this junk in your hair, huh? I see Carl doesn't find it necessary to deface himself. Carl, show mom your nipples. <laughs> it all started the morning after Thanksgiving. After my sister's husband, Louis, left for work, she found a note. And it looked like a love letter written to Louis. So uh, she brought it over to my mom and dad's house. Couldn't this be a note from a barracuda who was having an affair with a married man? So what should I do? I suggest that we drive you into the city and you talk to him face to face. So mom, dad, my sister, my boyfriend and I all crammed into the family car. Carl, tell mom and dad about your novel. The main character is this freak of nature, man, who doesn't have a normal head. He was, uh, he was born with a dog's head. Joe loves dogs. So when we got to New York, we, we drove to Lewis's office. You are so lucky to have Lewis. He's so sweet. Oh, I'm sorry. I gave Lewis the rest of the day off. Hey, make it look. What should we do? Then it got a little complicated. Don't go into the light, Mom. What are you doing here? What is this? A family affair? Why, why is everybody here? Don't you think it's weird when people you don't know start talking about their sexual exploits? Is he looking at me? No way! Is he looking at me? No way! Do you have any clue what trust is? I don't know! I don't know what it is! Shut up! Shut up! So he's a man with a dog's head and no hands. Exactly. A pointer who can't point. No, don't worry. We'll keep in the family. Come along, come along, come along, everybody, everybody in the place to be. It's capital B, capital B on the microphone, Pip T on the...